Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about humidity. So we have two different setups here. This is our container that's only about one third full. We have another container over there. That one's full all the way. And we're gonna be talking about the differences between these two containers because this one, since it's not full, we created more spacing um, to allow more hot air to go around. That one down there is full. And we're gonna show you what impact that has on humidity what impact that has on uh, fan speeds and on the temperatures on the on the ASICs. So if you think that's interesting, you know what to do. Hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking to set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm. Right now is a great time to jump in. Bitcoin is not you know super high or anything like that. It is at a good price at 38,000. Um, if it goes higher than that, it keeps going like 45, 50, 60, um, then ASICs and GPUs will increase in value, meaning that you would pay more money to build a farm in, in, uh, in the future then it will cost to build it today. So if you want to build a farm, go to CryptoLLC.org. We can help you do that anywhere in the United States, you know, anywhere in South America, Europe, wherever you want to build it, even in Africa, we'll help you anywhere to build your farm, um, to help you set up a farm, um, to, to do consultation work and all that. Also, if you want to buy ASICs, we have great prices. Um, we have one of the best prices actually and um, we can help you get you know, 100 miners, 200, 1,000 miners, a couple thousand miners, whatever you're looking for, we can help you do that, all right? And before we get started, Bitcoin saves your wealth and Jesus Christ saves your soul. All right, so I'm talking about humidity, hopefully you guys can hear me, these miners are blowing directly onto me. They're not too loud, because right now it's about uh, 40 degrees outside, 45, around there. It's pretty, kind of, a little cold, but not too cold. You can see that's, farm is still being built out but this one is all we have this is just the miners that didn't fit in the other container that's what these miners are here they didn't fit in the other container we ran that one all the way up no more space no more electricity so we got to do these miners over here anyway so when you have something like this that's fully open you see how we have space at the top there right right here at the top we have space we also have space on the sides meaning that we're going to fill out this section here. We also have a lot of space here. This creates a lot of circulation of air, meaning that when these miners blow hot air out, there's a, there's a good chance they'll blow back in. So that's a good thing, right? We want it to blow back in. Why? Because in this area, we are in Washington State, in this area, the humidity levels during nighttime, especially in the winter and spring, the humidity levels are 100%. It's 100%. We have humidity sensors on these miners, and we know that it can get to 100. So how do we go around this issue? We create the backflow. This backflow here, you see it's pretty big. It's like three inches backflow. See that? It's like three inch backflow, you know, three, two, maybe over here, and so on. Three, 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 you know, and three on the bottom, one, two, three, First three rows about three inch, the next two rows is two inch. As we go higher, the humidity will be lower. Humidity is usually starts at the bottom, has the highest humidity. As you go up, the humidity goes down. So at, since we have so much space around these miners, a lot of the hot air returns back and fights the humidity. So as the air mixes, the hot air, well the warmer air, it's not really hot, it's warm. Warmer air mixes with outside 40 degree temperature ambient air that's being sucked in. As it mixes with that 100% humidity, it drops to below 90%, which is what we want. So the humidity can be like 60, 70, 80%. And then it enters the miner. So that's what we want. We do not want anything above 90% to enter the miner. You can see on this side, we have the filtration system. So this is where the, where the uh, high humidity air comes in and it mixes in there from the backflow and the miners do not inhale anything above 90%. Now why is that very important? The reason why that's important is because just like all electronics, if you allow high humidity to hit your electronics, you will corrode them. So rust will start forming on the connections. Rust will start forming on the capacitors, the resistors, the ASICs, the legs, you know, the, uh, um, the signals, each chip, each ASIC has signals coming into it soldered. Those signals is what 
you know, gives a ASIC the command to hash, you know, the responses from the ASICs from hashing and so on. That's how you make money. That's how it hashes. And if the electronics are corroded, if the electronics are rotting away basically from the high humidity, you will start having issues with the hashboard and the hashboard will break. You do not want that. So that's why we have to make sure the humidity is always less than 90. Now let's go into this container and I'll show you the difference between those two, right? I'll go into this one. So you can see this one is fully loaded. We do have some space because we're overclocking these miners. So we ran out of power on the PDUs and we ran out of power on the, on the panels over there. Those three panels ran out of power. Um, so we had to put these little boards here. But anyway, the spacing, you can see the spacing is a lot less. You see how that spacing is only like one inch or like three quarters of an inch. And you can see that from the bottom to the top, as we go higher, the spacing will increase, uh, decrease. So as we get to the fifth row, the spacing is now only half an inch. And then when we get, I mean, this is a sixth row. When we get to the seventh row, there is zero spacing. You see that? Zero. There is zero spacing on the seventh row. Let me show you from the exhaust and you'll see what I'm talking about. Here we go. You see that? Like a three quarter inch, three quarter inch, three quarter inch. And as we go up to the sixth row, it's a half inch. And then when we go to the seventh row, it is zero. Why do we do that? Because as we were testing our humidity for these ASICs, again, each, each container is different, right? Each mining facility, each farm is different. So you have to measure all positions in all of your containers because they're all different. So for this container, when we did testing, we realized that the best value, the best spacing from row one to five is three quarter inch. So we made three quarter inch spacing between the miners. Then for row six, we only needed one quarter inch to get rid of the humidity. And then for row seven, we needed only zero. So we have no spacing for seven. We can put them basically together. And the hot air that's circulating on top and all that is enough to bring down the humidity to less than 90%. Thus, that's what we did at this container. Now, why do we want to decrease? So let's say you might be thinking, hey, if this is decreasing humidity, why don't you just make the spacing even bigger so then you can decrease humidity even more, right? The reason why we do not have, you know, a whole foot between each container is because when you increase the spacing too much, then you're gonna increase the temperature on the miner. The miner will consume too much of its own hot air, right? It'll consume too much of it, which means that the miner's fans will spin up faster. The miner, um, when it's gonna be like 80 degrees outside in the summertime, the miner will overheat. So you have to balance it. You have to find the correct spacing where you have just enough that the humidity is less than 90%, but not too much that your, that your miner overheats in the summertime. You know, in the wintertime, it wouldn't matter. Like if we make, uh, you know, two inch spacing, three inch spacing, even in this container, in the wintertime, it'd be fine because when it's 40 and 50 degrees, the miner doesn't care. But when it's 80 degrees, that's when the miners being at three quarter inch or being at half an inch or being at zero will make a big difference. All right, so that's how we balance it out. And you can see we have different situations here. This container is different than that one. Now, as we fill out this container over here, when it's full all the way, we're gonna retest the humidity sensors on this container and we're gonna adjust it. Most likely, it'll be probably the same as this one, you know, three quarters and then quarter inch and then uh, zero. Most likely to be the same, but we shall see. All right, well, I hope you guys liked the video. You know what to do, like, subscribe. I'm sharing you guys all the experience we have here at Crypto LLC. We've been running ASIC farms for the past eight years, you know, GPU farms, ASIC farms for the past eight years, have a lot of experience, you know, been through two um, Bitcoin halvings. There's another third one coming up here in April. So that's gonna be our third Bitcoin halvening at Crypto LLC. It's been around for a long time. So if you want us to help you build your farm, not just set up a farm, throw a container, put it in the liners and be like, all right, it's done, you know, let it go. No, there's a lot of details that go in here, right? There's, there, you have to take care of temperatures, humidity, the proper firmware to run, um, the, um, 
the calculations you have to do for the copper, the breakers, you know, things like that. Because if you just, you just, you know, just throw stuff together and throw it on and be like, all right, here we go. It's a farm. It's, you know, it's mining away. That, that can end up, you know, costing you dearly because then your miners might rot away or they'll have problems when it's hot or, you know, you're burning your copper or you're burning your PDUs or your breakers are always popping, whatever is happening, you know, or your miners are not running efficiently. They can run more efficiently, but you're not doing that and so on and so on and so on. So um, if you're looking for an all-in package um, where we help you build your farm or we set you up a farm or we, we uh, help you with hosting or whatever it is, you know what to do. Um, we also have available farm in uh, one of the northern states here. Um, we have 30 megawatts available. We're building that out here shortly. So if you want to jump in on that, make sure you go to cryptolsc.org and uh, send us an email. So we have that farm available. If you want to buy a megawatt, um, a container of a megawatt, basically, or um, you know something else, um, you know we have various propositions on that property. Whatever you're looking for, go to CryptoLSC.org. All right, well, that's going to be it. Hope you guys like it. Until next time, bye.